Hey everybody, how's it going? Man, it is windy today. So windy. We're buying the trees here, so it's kind of... We're going to combine this part here, and we're going to park the trucks there, because the coal is blown away. There, that's better. So, uh, I don't know if I gave an update last night because I just can't even remember anything anymore. I'm so tired. So this is our, what is today, Sunday? This is our last good day. We're supposed to get uh, rain and snow on Monday night and Tuesday, rain and snow. Uh, they're saying wet flurries or periods of rain, whatever. So it's that time of year, it's October. Hell, we've had, uh, I had this canola all snowed under in September. So, gotta give her. But we'll be, we'll have this we'll have this done here late afternoon. It'll be good. There's about 80 acres left. I think it's like two o'clock now. Three? I'm not sure. Can't remember. All right. So I got to move the truck here and park it over here. Well, uh, Sean blew a hydraulic hose on the 9600. So I just went into town. Called John Deere. Well, for after hours, it's Sunday today, so I'm just on the way to put it back. Sean, which hose did you blow? Power steering. Power steering. How'd you know it was going? Steering. Yeah. Huh? Well, you should have had that cleaned up before I came back. Uh, hold on. I think I got some tape we'll put on there. Okay, I got my end on. Oh, you got a hose clamp there. I can see another spot right here on this hose that's starting to... Hey, we should be good to go. He's got to tighten that last little nut there. Fire it up and check for some leaks. We'll get this show on the road, Sean. Grandpa's just giving her. having a little hydraulic issue there. Got the 
5600 going now he's dumping in there so it turned out the, the reservoir was low on hydraulic oil and I threw the hydraulic oil that I had in the wrong reservoir there's two different reservoirs on there and the power steering one is driven by the engine gear uh, the, engine, the engine uh which I thought was the hydrostatic um, there's a reservoir right there by the main by the uh by the, the main drive and that's the one that runs power steering so we have to go find some power steering uh I have to go find some hydraulic oil today's sunday nothing's open so, sean sean found some good on him so actually look that's that's dad over there that's miss monique combining there and i can't see the sun is in my eyes because uh Lori set her loose. Lori's right here picking rocks. <laughs> so Sean's gonna join the party here. We'll be done right away. That's it for Harvest 21. Are you excited that Harvest 21's over? Actually, I wish it was another hundred acres to do something. Yeah. Until tomorrow, when it's gonna rain or snow. I wish there was a hundred acres more tonight. Yeah. I'd go. I'm. I'm not tired today. I'd go. I'd go till five in the morning again, like we did last time. I wonder if the neighbors have some canola we can combine. They must have somewhere around here. It's not combined yet. We can combine it for twenty percent. Hey, we should go combine somebody's canola for twenty percent. So I was at John Deere today there when I was fixing the hose and, he's, and I fixed the hose there and we were talking and he goes well he, that's all you needed right and I said uh, well I said, well maybe that too and it was that John Deere high speed disc and I said that too maybe I said should demo that I don't think our tractor could pull it though we need like five six hundred horse to pull that one I think it's 40 feet I think ours would do good with a third quarter. Got to pull them fast. And I saw one of the neighbors there, uh, Zablotniks, I think. He's pulling that blue one, that Lemkin. And it's not very wide, and he's pulling it. It looks to be about 30, maybe, not even 30 feet, 26 maybe. And he's he's pulling it four wheel drive. He's doing a uh, wheat stubble. He's barely scratching it though. It's not going very deep at all. I'm cold. It's cold out here. It's cold. So I think that's going to be Monique's first time to unload. He's saying don't film. Don't film.
Actually, Pam, Sean's mom, was combining right till quitting time last night. Sean was uh, out cold. He was, he was, uh, well, he was up with us till five o'clock in the morning, and then he woke up at eight. So we were sleeping. Me and Lori were sleeping right till ten. So I don't know why he woke up so early, but he couldn't hack it once it got dark there. So Sean was sleeping in the buddy seat, and. Pam was uh, palm biting. Not too shabby for the first time there. Pam, she's sitting in my truck over there. So that's almost a wrap. Just a few more rounds to go. Look, one, two, three, three swats there. Probably about another four where Sean is. And that's, we're done. But what I have to do now is move that swather so I can get it to run for about 30 seconds and then something stops the flow of fuel. So what I have to do is uh, pull the bottom of the tank out, let it drain and see what's clogging it up. But in the meantime I can blow that line out, compress there and there, then it'll blow whatever's blocking it out of the way and it'll run for about a minute. So I can move it, they can combine the rest of the canola. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is just get it running after. Just enough to get it on my, uh, uh, my swather mover trailer and take it home. You know how the wind come back. It's kind of calm there for a bit. Well, everybody's on their last pass now. I think uh, Unique and Lori are done there. Need to unload. So the yield was a little bit more than we expected on here. Um, we expected it to be not that good. Oh man, my nose is running cold. Um, I was I was hoping for 20 and after we swathed it I said oh no I don't think it's gonna be 20 but this side was a, was probably averaging 25 whereas the other side was probably about 17 16 maybe so it uh, it uh, averaged out to about 20 so So yeah, can't really complain about what the year it was. So. Actually, I just finished moving the swather, so they're coming to combine this little bit of a spot that was in front of the swather, so I should. Oh, there's enough room. What I did is I just used some compressed air and blew the line, and it actually it ran all the way to go right around the, the trees there on the other side. So. got one finger that needs uh, 
that plastic guide that's that noisy here I have them at home I just didn't put it on because we're done so Now we're officially done, harvest 21.